Ciao and welcome to Geo's Paintbrush, where art is for everyone and five minutes is all it takes to be blown away by one of the greatest artists in the world. Caravaggio was the first Italian filmmaker, more than 300 years before the motion picture was invented. I offer as evidence the Supper at Imus, 1601, on loan to the Art Institute of Chicago from London's National Gallery through the 31st of January 2010. This painting leaps off the canvas into the viewer's space, demonstrating action as well as any film ever could. And through Caravaggio's innovative juxtaposition of a deep dark background with rich Italian colors in the foreground and real life models for his work, often Roman street people are friends of his and this guy ran with a rough crowd, he achieves a level of realism, of believability, that transforms the two-dimensional medium of painting into three powerful dimensions, something even film seldom does well. The piece captures the scene from the Gospel of Luke, in which two of Christ's disciples, dining at an inn, realize that their dinner companion is, in fact, the resurrected Jesus, leading one disciple to nearly leap from his seat in shock, and the other to throw his hands wide in amazement. While there is much to the painting's religious symbolism, such as Christ reaffirming, with his blessing, the role of the Eucharist in the wake of the Protestant Reformation. What I find most amazing about the work is the way in which Caravaggio transcends his medium. Even the bowl of fruit is placed partially off the table in the viewer's world, as well as his portrayal, radical at the time, of Jesus Christ and two saints as ordinary-looking people. As the exhibit at the Art Institute demonstrates, Caravaggio's influence ran far and wide, impacting not just his contemporaries and followers, but painters for generations to come from around the world. While painters from many eras have sought to achieve three-dimensionality in their work, for example, the Cubists seeking to portray multiple angles and perspectives on a subject in a single painting, to me, Caravaggio is the unchallenged master. While the strategies Caravaggio employed in his work are no longer radical, to say that he used artist's tricks to achieve his ends is like saying that Steven Spielberg relied on special effects in his movies. The point is not that the strategies employed were entirely original. The placement of rich colors on a black background, the thoughtful use of light, the portrayal of important subjects as ordinary people around us, and a mastery of perspective and motion. It's that no one could employ these strategies better than Caravaggio in 1601 or today. If you get the chance, check this one out. Thanks for joining us.